today. I want to first apologize to Sister April. I told her we would not be long. I didn't know Sister First Lady and Sister <laughs> Victoria was going to be so long with it, but that's part of it. Amen. Amen. But we, you no problem. Okay. All right. But I promise you, I won't be long with them. Father, we lift up to you yes. our lives. Yes. We lift up to you this sanctuary. Yes. We lift up to you our praise. We lift up to you our hallelujahs. Yes. We lift up to you our thank yous. Yes. We thank you so much for all that you've already done for us. Yes. Yes. You've been a blessing yes. to us in our lives. Oh, yes. We just want to pause and say thank you. You've led us, you've blessed us, you've kept us, you've allowed us to call upon your name. Yes. And most of all, you have forgiven us. Yes. And we stand before you now and ask that you feed us with the bread of heaven, that we can grow thereby. Feed us. I'm not the song that says that I want no more, but I want you to feed us till we be filled yes. with your glory. Filled with your love, filled with your desire yes. to please you. And we thank you for what you've already done. Yes. And, and I'm just calling upon your name because I realize I can't make it without you. Yes. And I need you in my life. Yes. You've been there all the time. Sometimes it just seemed like you were not, but I realized that you were there all the time. Yes. And I honor you. And I praise you in this house. Yes. So right now, as you send this word to us, prepare our hearts for communion. Yes. But we can commune with you. We can feel your presence and know that you've come and know that you're coming back again yes. to receive us to yourself. Yes. And I will be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor because it all belongs to you. So now I'm asking that your will be done and that your kingdom will come in our hearts, in our minds. God, in our being here in this place. So I just thank you so much. I thank you for blessing me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Um, our conductor for life, uh, to our next pastor, a man who put it eloquently, letting us know why we are later than we are supposed to be. It's because of our two uh, twins, how they um, sort of took over the service. Um, and I thank you, Sister Kayla. I understand you come all the way from Grandma. This morning, just to be in service. Amen. She said she would be here. Yeah. Amen. She's here. And she has a, um, she's getting a degree in child, child development. Child development. Amen. And Amen. she took those kids back there, just volunteered. I mean, nobody asked, nobody know what a major, I didn't know what a major was. Went back there and took those kids, and they were so receptive yeah. to her. And that's the skill set. That you know, God puts in people. That's right. Amen. You know, this child, like Minister Jay with Gavin, uh, oh, no. Gavin didn't want to put on a suit, but when Minister Jay walked in, his whole demeanor changed. Mm -hmm. But it just shows that God uh, can use that's His right. people to help other people, that's and right. that's what we're here for. Amen. And this young lady drove up in this charge out there, making all kinds of. Give me your name again, baby. Okay, drove up this morning. Amen. Been here before, I believe, and, and just came back now. Yeah, a, a lot of times. Y'all can y'all correct me, but anyway, I'm talking about Rhodesia now. And, and 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 but but it's just it's just good to see people drive up and, and want to be in service. Amen. And I thank God, yes, son, I understand. You don't look like no nerd. <laughs> he said, believe me, he look like a nerd because he got a suit on when he looks nice. Yes, Amen. 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 And the 
and young lady, thank you. So this is one of my food bank persons. Amen. 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 Excuse me, Lord, 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 Lord. I thank God for her. Amen. I thank God for all of you, but I, these are the people that God let me look at this morning. And uh, I was telling my son, he better just knock down my tambourine <laughs> on the floor a while ago. That's why I was trying oh, to tell you. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was trying to tell you. Leave me off with a tambourine and she knocked him down. And on the ground, on the floor. Amen. And, and I don't like you knock down my tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> from the book of Saint, from the book of Saint Matthew. Amen. Saint Matthew chapter twenty-six. And I promise you, I won't be long because I want this service. I want this is. I told y'all it used to be a hard service for me. But it's not hard anymore. God has delivered me from that. Amen. Because, because I understand the seriousness of communion. I understand the value of communion. Amen. Amen. And the sacredness. And I don't want anybody under my watch to go to hell. Amen. Amen. And so therefore it was it was tough. Amen. But but God let me know this. You just put it out there. Amen. You do. You do the the, uh, the planting, and you do the watering, and he gonna do the increase. Amen. Amen. And so, um, I, I, it used to be like I said, hard for me, but it's not hard anymore. Amen. And so, today, for uh, again, I won't be long. Okay. Amen. Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter twenty six, verses start at verse twenty, and somebody started reading for me, and um, uh, so we can get through. With this familiar set. Now when the evening was come. When the evening talk, evening came. He sat down with the he twelve. He sat down with the twelve. The twelve was his who? Disciple. Amen. Amen. And as they did eat. And as did, they did eat. He said, Verily uh -huh. I say unto Truly you, I say unto you. That one of you shall betray me. Now God knows. And that's why I said the service is not going. It's not hard for me anymore. God knows that somebody's going to betray him. Yeah. Somebody's not going to do what they're supposed to do. He knew that. Yeah. Amen. This is what I want us to understand. God knows where you are and who will and who will not right. 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 serve him. Right. Amen. And so, so as he sat down, he said, Truly I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. And we all know who that one is. Mm -hmm. That one he's talking about is Judas. Right. Amen. And Judas was born a son of perdition. But he knew that Judas was going to betray him. Amen. And, and, and it was a part of his plan that Judas just, uh, betrayed him. But, but, but we may not know now who the betrayer is, but God does. Amen. God does. And so, 22. And they were exceeding sorrowful. And they were exceeding sorrowful. And began everyone. And began everyone of them to say unto him. Lord. Is it I? And I want us to ask ourselves this question. Lord, is it I? Because God knows somebody's going to betray him. But we ought to want to know, Lord, is it I? Lord. Amen. Lord, is it I? And the people, the people, the disciples, they were exceeding sorrowful. Mm -hmm. Because they knew that Jesus knew what he was talking about. Yeah. And so, so they began everyone. And that's what God wants us to do. Start taking inventory. Of ourselves. Right, right. To see am I the one that's going to betray him. Yeah, right. And so they begin to say, Lord, is it I? Mm -hmm. Read on. And he answered and, and, he said, answered and said, He that dippeth his, that dip his, his hand with me in the dish, in the, dish the, same the same shall betray me. Mm -hmm. It was going to be exposed who it was. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, so, so it's very, very simple that we have to prepare ourselves to for communion. Yeah. Read on. The son of man goes. The son of man goes. Yes, it's written of him. Yes, yes. But woe unto that yes, man. but woe is dangerous. Danger unto that man by whom the, by whom son, the son of man is betrayed. Man. You ain't care. This is not a time to play. Amen. This is a time to be serious and know that I'm dealing with, and I'll get into that later on, but I'm dealing with Jesus Christ himself. Right, right. Amen. I'm dealing with Jesus Christ himself. That's all. So, so, he, they said, woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good, it for, had that been good for that man that he had not been born. Oh, oh Lord, have 
mercy. Do you understand that? Because this thing is an eternal damnation. Right. It's not just one day I'm in hell and the next day I'm out. Right. But, but y'all remember the man that was going to hell? Amen. He was there and he looked over. And I don't know if it's going to be like it's not. But he looked over and saw Abraham. Yes. Amen. Abraham. And saw the man, the poor man, in his bosom. Yes. And he said, no, 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 no. Yeah, help me, help me, help me, help me. Let this man come over here and just put his feet in some water. And put it on my tongue because I'm tormented in these flames. Right, right. Lord said, you had it good while you were here. Right. Folks got it good now. Right. But there's going to come a time when we all going to have to stand before God. Right, right, and give right. account of what we've done in this body, whether it's good or bad. Amen. Lord have Amen. mercy. Read on. Then Judas. Then Judas, which betrayed him, which betrayed him and said, and said Master, uh, Master, is it I? Is it I? Yeah. He said unto him, uh -huh. Thou hast said. In other words, in other words, when you ask the Lord, is it I? Uh -huh. God will answer you. Yes, God will show you what you need to improve. Yeah. God will show you what you have not been doing. Yeah. God will show you how you got to change. Because the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold. In other words, I want you to look. All things are right, right. become new. Yeah. Read on. And as they were eating, and as they were eating Jesus, took bread, Jesus took bread and blessed it. And, blessed and, it, break it, and it break it. And gave it to, the gave it to his disciples. And said, and said take, take, eat. eat. This, is my body. this is my body. And, and come on, don't forget it. And he took the cup yes. and gave thanks. Yes. And gave it to them. Say, drink, drink ye all of it. Don't leave nothing. Drink all of it. Well, this is my blood of the New Testament, which was shed for many for the remissions of sin. So ask ourselves, Lord, is it I? Lord, because let me tell you, communion is a strange, is a strange experience for many folks. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And even for some believers, amen. Because they, 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 when they're outside looking in, it looks strange. Uh -huh. It's frightening. It's confusing. Amen. It's uncomfortable because you're talking about dealing with the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. To say you're eating the body of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. To say you're drinking his blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. It seems strange, but this is how it's been for over 2,000 years. Yeah. Amen. People have been partaking of communion. Mm -hmm. And it's a sacrament because it's a spiritual and a physical act. Yeah. Amen. It's going to take place today. Amen. And, and, and you, you, you tell God, I'm ready for new responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You're telling God, I'm ready for new positions before God or in God. Amen. Yeah. It's an outward and a visible sign of an inward change in a person's life. Mm -hmm. That's why somebody get 1 Corinthians chapter 11 for me. Amen. It's, this is when Paul was addressing the Corinthian church because the Corinthian church had all kinds of issues. Mm -hmm. Amen. And one in particular was that since they had professed their faith in Jesus, they felt they could keep on living the life of sin like they'd always been living. Right. Yeah. Amen. And that's what happens to folks. They feel like they can do the same thing. Amen. But 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 28 says what? But let a man examine. But let a man do what? Examine his neighbor. Exactly. Examine the pastor. Exactly. Examine the friend. He said, let a man examine himself. Meaning that you've got to look on the inside and determine, is it you? Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He said, let a man do what? Examine himself. And after he examined himself, let him do what? Oh, you done put it up? No, I'm trying to get my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Okay, let a man examine let himself. Let a man examine himself. And so let him eat and huh? Eat of that bread. Eat of that bread and drink of, and that, drink of that cup. So once you examine yourself and determine that it's you, and you say, Lord, I I I, I don't want to be like this no more. Right. Amen. And you tell God, I'm sorry, yeah. then he said, let him eat of that bread right. and drink of that cup. Right. Amen. So that's why he said, let a man examine himself. Amen. So communion is a participation in Christ's death. First Corinthians 10, you see there, first Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16 says what? 10, 16 yes. Is. Well, I'm old up. I ain't going to. The cup 
cup of blessing, yes. which was blessed, yes. is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Yes. The bread which we break, yes. is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Yes, so when you, when, when you proclaim that you are saved, you understand that you are proclaiming the Lord's death yeah. until he comes. Yeah. Say so somebody got to know that Jesus died for their sins. Right. Amen. So, so this is a call for us to die to ourselves. Right. Amen, Amen. Amen. Because the question is, what needs to die in me so that I may be like Christ? Amen. Oh, Lord. Right. That's how you determine, Lord, isn't I? Right. You determine what's got to die in me. Amen. What's got to die in me so I can be like Christ? That's good. Oh, oh, Lord. See, because when you die to something, amen, I told you a long time ago, you can't hurt a dead man. Right. When you die to something, amen, then, then God is able then to come in right. and, and, and live on the inside of you. So when you are proclaiming, you're partaking of this body of Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are participating in his death. Because, because, because to die to ourselves, you ask the question, what needs to die in me so that I may be like Christ? In communion with communion, we experience the presence of Christ. Oh, Lord. Because these vessels that we are becomes where people can see Jesus in us. Where Paul said, it's no longer me, but it's the Christ that is in me. People need to see Jesus. They don't need to see us. They need to see Jesus. They need to see the love of God. They need to see the forgiveness of God. They need to see the hope of God. They need to see the faith of God. Because God said, have what? Have faith in God. In other words, have the God kind of faith. When you begin to say something, because he said, if you say to this mountain, be not removed and be not cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that the thing you say shall come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you say. Amen. Because they were criticizing Jesus, want to know as he passed by this tree. He passed by this tree and he cursed the tree. And when they came back through, the tree was dried up from the roots. Yeah. And they wanted to know, Lord, Lord, what is this? And Jesus said, All you got to do is have the God kind of faith. Yeah. Amen. So God wants you to have the faith of God. Yeah. And so when you experience the presence of God, people can be able to see Jesus in your life. Yeah. Amen. So when you. When you mistreat the communion, you mistreat Jesus himself. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's why 1 Corinthians 11 and 27. Read it. Wherefore, whosoever, whosoever shall eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink this, drink this cup of the Lord, of the Lord how unworthy, unworthy shall be guilty is guilty of, of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And so, when you take communion, you receive God's grace. Yes. Amen. And I want to talk about grace for a little bit. Because again, again, you know, we like to get here, but the first part, we don't like to be there, but, but we receive God's grace. Yes. Because when you receive God's grace, you receive the benefits offered to us through Christ. Right. Amen. Through Christ's death. It's an opportunity to encounter the grace of God when you come to the communion table. And grace is the undeserved gift of love and forgiveness that God has given to us. Yes. We don't deserve it. It's the unmerited favor of God. Yes. It is given, not earned. Yes. It is given, not earned. Amen. Amen. It is given, not earned. Amen. Amen. For them, with, for them, not you. It's, it's given. Yes. It's given. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Grace blesses us. When we don't deserve it. That's right. Grace meets us in the middle of our mess. Yes. It offers us forgiveness and restoration. Yes, so when we come to the table, we admit that we are broken. Right. And thus make ourselves ready to receive God's grace. Yes. I put an asterisk by this because it meant so much to me as God was giving me this message. Grace allows us to be who we are called to be. My God. My God. Oh Lord have mercy. Somebody give God a praise on that. He allows us to be who he called us to be. See, see, God, when he created us in his image, he wants us to be like him. So grace allows us to be what he called us to be. Come on, somebody tell God, thank you. He allows us to be who we, who we are called to be. I remember when the woman, and 
I talked about this morning in Sunday school, the woman who was caught in adultery. Uh -huh. Grace met her in her brokenness. Oh, God. And God gave her, amen, he, he gave her grace, but then he gave her new direction. Yeah. He said, go and sin no more. Yeah. Amen. And that, that's what grace is. He yeah. gets you out of your mess. Yeah. And he gives you new direction. Yeah. He told her, go and sin no more. Amen. Grace say, this may be what you have done, but this is not what you can be in me. Amen. Oh, Lord, this may be what you have done. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Because all of us been in a point that we know we shouldn't have been. Oh, God, but grace stepped in and gave us another opportunity. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Romans 2 and verse 4. Somebody read it for me right quick. Because I'm almost finished this day. Romans 2 and verse 4. Or, dips, or despises thou the riches of his goodness mm -hmm. and forbearance and longsuffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Oh, Lord, God's grace leads us to repentance. Yeah. God's grace allows us to turn around yeah. from the direction we've been going. Yeah. Make a change in our life. Somebody say, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are or become new. Yeah. God's grace will bring, lead us to repentance. Yeah. And yes, God loves us for who we are, but God loves us enough to not leave us that way. My God. Amen. 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 My God. Woo! Lord, bless it may not be for nobody but me, but, but, but God loves us for who we are. Yeah. But he loves us enough to not leave us there. God wants to make a change in our life. Come on, somebody. God wants to make a change in our life. And as we come to the offering, we come to the communion table, all he's doing is just allowing us to experience his grace. Yeah. Amen. Experience his grace. He gives us an opp another opportunity to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Repent and turn from our old ways and live a new life in Christ. Oh, bless his wonderful name. So now we're about to receive communion. If you've never said yes to Jesus, this is a time to do so. Amen. You're trying to hold on and life keeps falling apart for you. You just don't know what's going on. So first, you've got to admit you're broken. First, you've got to admit that it's you. Because a lot of times I told you people we can quote scriptures to somebody else. But can we quote scriptures for ourselves? Oh, bless his wonderful name. Can we do that? Can we look and say, Lord, I need to do this. This is what you told me. Lord, is it I? Yeah. Amen. You got to admit that you are broken. Yeah. Hey, and Jesus can make you new. Yeah. He can make you new. He can make, he can change you. And just like David said, created me yeah. a clean heart, oh God. Yeah. And renew what? A right spirit within me. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. See, y'all know the story of David, don't you? David, David had a bad kid for his wife, had a yeah. baby by him. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and Nathan, our next Sunday school lesson, Nathan went to David where God sent him and told him to tell him, you're the one, David. You're the one that's causing all this problem. You're the one that's causing all this problem. And David, instead of going to a witch, went to God and told him to create me. A clean heart, oh God, and renewing me the right spirit. But contrary to David's saw, Saul, Saul went down the eye, and God told him to kill everything. Saul went down there, he, he looked and he saw how uh, the, the good looking animals and, and the king, even God told him to destroy. And he brought the good looking animals and everything. He said, I'm going to take these back and I'm going to sacrifice them to the Lord. But Samuel, God sent Samuel to him and met him and said, have you done what God told you to do? And Saul so, so, so said, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. And then God allowed the cows to start lowing and the yeah. sheep to start yeah. bedding. And, and, and he said, well, what's the sound of this, this lowing that I hear? Yeah. And, and he said, well, yeah, I, 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 I said, I'm going to bring these back and sacrifice them to the Lord. Yeah. And God said, obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. And to rebel is at the sin of witchcraft. And Saul, 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 Samuel got ready to leave and Saul grabbed him and, 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 and tore his coat. And God, Samuel told him, just like you to rip my coat. That's how God has ripped the yeah. kingdom out of your hand. Yeah. 
and stuff wasn't right for Saul no more. So what did he do? He headed down to a witch. Yeah. A woman of familiar spirit. To find out why he didn't have that same power that he had before. I thought about, I thought about who that strong man in Samson when he was shaking and nothing happened no more. When he told about his hand. And he got his hair cut off. He was shaking, sister, yeah. and nothing would happen no more. Saul couldn't do stuff like he used to do. And he wanted to know what was going on. So he went to a woman of familiar spirit. Yeah. Amen. So you can't go to no witch or no, you got to go to God right. and tell God to create in me a clean heart. Yeah. He realized he hadn't done what God told him to do. Yeah. But David realized he hadn't done what God told him to do. But he said, create in me yes. 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 a clean heart, oh God. Yeah. And renew it, renew it, me the right spirit. So God is able to make you new. And so I'm asking us today to release our fears, to release our anxieties, to release our habits, amen, to release our failures, to release our addictions, and let's turn it all over to God doing this communion service. Because great God's grace is here. And all we need to do is ask ourselves, Lord, is it I? And while we begin to pray, you can come to the altar if you would like. You can, you, wherever you are in this service, you can ask yourself, Lord, is it I? Because God says somebody, says somebody, somebody. is going to betray you. And you can ask yourself, Lord, is it I? As we begin to pray, we ask ourselves the question. As we do what? Examine ourselves. To see where I'm coming short. And ask ourselves, Lord, is it I? And I promise you, God's grace will meet you where you're broken. And God's grace will give you new direction. New direction for you to go, for you to call upon his name. And if you call him, God said, I will answer. I promise you. God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He won't let you down. You just got to learn how to trust him. You got to learn how to trust him. You got to learn how to be with him. God have mercy. Thank you, sister. I wish one day God would allow you to testify to the people where God has brought you from. Yeah. And he brought you from it because you desired it. Yeah. You desired it. You desired it. You knew you were broken and you desired it. Yeah. 